Oh, hey. <laughs> Where are you guys? Did a little early. <laughs> Seems like I just saw you. <laughs> About 30 seconds ago. So we'll get a few minutes to see if how many people will come in. Hey, do they have the uh, the view count on here or? Yes, up in the remember. upper corner. It was three. We've already lost one. Mm. Oh, I see it up there. Yeah, there we go. All three from Facebook. Hello, Cody. Oh, Cody. Cody says hi. Cody had a good idea last time. Thank oh, you all. Was Cody the one? Is. Yeah. Uh, was Cody the one that was talking about the uh, the Pepsi trucks? Pepsi drivers? Yes. Yep. Yes. Thank you, Jenna. All right. So tonight we're joined by Michelle Osborne. She is the older sister of Lauren Ashley Wilhoyt. Did I say that last name correct? Yeah. Uh, Lauren went missing December 28th, 2022 from Melrose Park, Illinois. Michelle, welcome and thank you so much for speaking to us tonight. Yes, thanks for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about your sister, uh, how she was growing up? And it seems like you've known her for a few years, correct? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like your whole, her whole yeah. life anyway um so she is eight years younger than me and then we have an older brother um he's 10 years older than her and she was always just that spunky crazy silly goofy kid um she always wanted to do everything that me and my brother did um <clears throat> i remember one time my brother played football for the town that we grew up in and I was a cheerleader for a year or two. I don't like to talk about that too much, but I was. Um, and my sister ended up um, convincing my mom to sew her a outfit that matched our uniform. So she was basically our little mascot and she just run around doing. <laughs> That's cute. And half cartwheels. And I mean, that was her up until you know, the day she went missing, still that same goofy kid. Yeah. And that's, uh, I've got some pictures showing on screen here now, and that's definitely something you get from these pictures that her faces are, yeah. uh, very funny. Yeah. Seems like she was quite the character. She was. Yeah, that, that's Not a, a bit, of an, bit of an age gap there with the, uh, with the kids too. It must've been like raising like a, like a, almost not, not quite a kid. Right. But like a niece or a nephew. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I remember yeah. eating her, making bottles for her, changing her diaper, you know, like very yeah. weird when you think back on it. Yeah. Uh, what were some of Lauren's hobbies? Uh, growing up, she liked to play sports. She did volleyball and soccer. Um, soccer was mine, too. Again, following in the footsteps. Um, and then just, you know, hanging out with friends, listening to music, like going to concerts, you know, your, your normal teenager kid things. So if you wouldn't mind, um, can you go into the last time you spoke to her? Yeah, it was uh, actually December 28th. Um, she had called to see, you know, just how things were going because we you know christmas just happened and um, right. actually get to see her over christmas and so she was calling to see you know if we could get together soon and you know what i wanted for christmas what my son wanted the husband um and then i was getting some ideas from her about what she wanted um and you know we had plans to meet up over the next couple weeks and that you know it was just like a normal everyday conversation didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary. Um, it was pretty much it. it. It wasn't too long of a conversation, maybe only 10 minutes, but. All right. Did she so you, you guys were plans? Up. Sorry. I don't know why that's happening today. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, of did she mention any plans sorry. that she might have? Not that I can recall. Um, and I tried taking a lot of notes, you know, within those next few days up until shoot, probably a couple months, um, trying to like rack my brain to remember what we talked about. Um, 
but no, I don't remember anything specific. We just had the kind of, all right, we'll get in contact again over the next couple of weeks and meet up. I lived in Indiana and she was Illinois. So it was not like you could just go and stop by. It was something you needed to make an actual plan for. And we just mm -hmm. never got around to it. Right. Does Lauren have any children? No. Mm -mm. I'm missing one, America. Sending you love, Michelle. Thank you guys for doing this for Lauren. And uh, Susan is actually the one that reached out to us to ask us to cover this case. So thank you, Susan, for uh, bringing this to us. Now, uh, you have children? Yeah, I have one son. One son. And how about your other brother? Does he have any kids? Oh, he's got a bunch. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so was she a pretty involved aunt? Someone that would want to be close to her family as much as possible. Yeah. I mean, she tried every chance she could. Yeah. She loved all of her nieces and the one nephew. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, it, it, it sounds it just, I mean, just from the way you're talking, like even like following up even after, after Christmas to, to get plans together. Cause normally for a lot of people, you know, you'll have your Christmas and then you go like, okay, now we'll have a, a week or two away from family. But you know, you guys are, are still right at it right after and wanting, wanting to talk and make plans for the next thing. Like it definitely seems like, you know, you guys are a really, really tight family. Yeah. I mean, you know, she's, been there for everything in my life other than my first eight years which you know i don't really remember much from that anyway um but yeah i mean <laughs> there are important things and you know we as family we all talk as often as we can you know it's not every day but as often as we can hey everyone thanks for all you do i'm late but trying to catch up justice for rob morrison jewers thanks for joining us I was on YouTube. Um, so, so the the what what was as far as your understanding, what was supposed to happen that 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 day with her that she did go missing? Uh, from what I was able to gather, because um, she never told me, so it's you know, I guess more or less hearsay. But the boyfriend told me she was going to meet up with a friend at a hotel for a couple days. You know, New Year's was coming up. And I don't even know if he knew who, but I don't know who she was going to go meet up with. Um, and I didn't know what hotel. And I don't think the boyfriend really did either. Um, or it took a while for him to actually, for us to narrow it down to which hotel it was that she did go to. Um, and what hotel was that? It was the Best Western O'Hare was somewhere in there because it's close to O'Hare Airport. Um, and it was in Franklin Park, Illinois. Franklin Park, right. Um, now, the uh, there should have been security footage of, of that because it was a chain hotel. Yeah, and unfortunately, by the time we figured out which specific hotel it was um that specific best western only keeps their footage for five days and i think it was somewhere around two weeks when we figured out which hotel it was so it was all gone that seems like such remember, a this is silly policy year ago <laughs> right. right like data storage is not expensive in two weeks i mean five days worth that's not very much yeah especially for a chain like uh best western so right. and we even like when went and canvassed the area a little bit you know i think susan's still doing it um and there's not even a lot of just other businesses that have cameras either so it's just kind of like a a dead zone almost which yep. doesn't help right right the um what about the the employees did the, the cops speak to any employees about them being there yeah, so the lead detective ended up going, um, and he did get a list of all of the rooms and who rented them for that three-day period. Um, so they do know whose name the room was under. Um, I'm not going to say just because I don't want to hinder mm -hmm. the information. Hopefully it's right, still right. Um, 
but yeah, so they do know who, um, but as far as I know, they have not been able to make contact with that person yet either. Oh, wow. So That's weird. are they the, the, from, from out of state or? Yes. That person was from Indiana. Does the boyfriend recognize the name at all or no? Uh, yes. The boyfriend does know that person. Um, and only because of my sister, like they had just kind of met in passing type thing. Right. Okay. So, um, so what, what is the, Oh, go ahead. Are we, how do you, do we know that for sure she made it to the best Western? You know, not really. No. Um, the boyfriend. I, so I heard you had, you had, you had talked on another podcast about some photos that she had taken. The last photo she had taken. Can you describe yes. those to me? Yeah. The last photo was actually in front of, it was one of those, you know, selfie things and i forget who it was it wasn't me that noticed it it was somebody else who was helping me kind of dig through everything um and they you know like zoomed in on it and they were like oh look and i think that's how we ended up finding out which hotel it was actually now that i'm thinking about it because it had oh, wow. the western whatever o'hare um on the sign in that picture and so i had gotten into her i'm in like her iCloud, her Apple, her most of her emails. I'm on her Facebook, Snapchat, um, all of those things. Between me and the boyfriend, we were able to come up with enough password possibilities that I was able to get into the majority okay. of them. So that's how I got that photo because I don't think she ever posted it anywhere. It was so iCloud. So me being the conspiracy guy. I'm wondering if she felt like she, there was a need for her to take that picture to show where she's at, you know, was she uncomfortable going there? So I agree with you because looking through all of her photos that were on the cloud, she had a lot where she, you know, she'd take an Uber to go somewhere because she didn't have a car and she would screenshot the driver and the, the picture of the app. Um, right. So yeah, I think maybe, but I don't know who she would ever send him to. The boyfriend never said that he would, you know, I don't know that I ever asked him that either. Um, well, in like, case something happened, you know, but, people could right. get into it and, and, and find, find out. Um, yeah. Like that's, that's not a bad idea in, in today's world is to, to do that sort of thing, have some insurance policies that right. like, I know that I have, stuff backed up onto my computer for my family if something were to happen to me to to get into all my stuff um but uh i, I did have one quick question was, was anything uh did, did she have a, a phone or purse or anything that was left behind or when she disappeared did did all of that stuff go with her no as far as i know everything that she brought with her left with her because the hotel you know when the lead detective went there they didn't have you know they didn't remember finding anything in that room doesn't mean that there wasn't and you know hotel workers do whatever with it um i have no idea uh, but i think all she had from the pictures was just like a purse and whatever she was wearing and that was it right now the uh and just to get this out of the way like because she's so close She's not the type to just run off, right? Has she ever kind of gone missing before or like been away for a few days? Like this is obviously months, months later. So, um, yeah, no, she, I mean, even just my parents, they have always talked to her at least once a week, if not multiple times. I may not have talked to her every week, but I talked to her at least once a month over the phone. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so as far as I know, no, she's never just gone away and disappeared um the boyfriend said that she would leave for a day or two three tops four would have been like way max but she would always say hey you know after a day or two hey i'll be home in you know a day or two i'm just still hanging right. out so and so or so yes the very out of the ordinary has never done anything like this do you know did they search the room like police did they do anything forensically in the rooms? They have any dogs or 
anything like that? I was never told whether they did or not. Um, as I said, it was like two weeks later. And with it being a hotel right by the airport, I don't know that they would have gotten anything if they did anyway. Uh, but I was never told one way or another whether they did or not. Uh, do you have any idea who the uh, the police are thinking or who they're looking into about this? Like, do they have any idea whatsoever? So it's really hard because it's the Cook County Sheriff's, right? So they encompass Chicago and more. Um, so it's unfortunate, but there's shootings and deaths and things like that every day in Chicago. So the detective is getting pulled away and pulled away and pulled away. Right. So, I mean, even just I'm trying to back off a little bit, but not, you know, I'm still texting and calling as often as I can um, to try and be you know, like, hey, are you still doing this? Are you right. Still you, you have to be persistent with stuff like this. Um, right. So it's just I, I don't know what they're still doing. They they really didn't tell me a whole lot as far as who they think or what they think. Um, it's all just been very short, like a couple word text messages like no nothing no news no updates I'm like oh, okay thanks uh teresa says you're an amazing person and sister michelle osborne thank you guys for taking the time uh for lauren absolutely yes absolutely She's um what's that oh go ahead. Was... <laughs> keeps cutting out the audio because we're talking i didn't hear that again Teresa, she was a friend of mine from high school. We're still okay. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, so, uh, so that's that's essentially where like the story ends, right? Uh, you you had talked to her on the the twenty eighth. Supposedly that was the day. Not that you had known that she was supposed to go for a few days with a friend to a hotel, um, and then no one had heard from her. And then that is it. Now, how how was she supposed to get to the hotel? Do we do we know about that? Like, what was her transportation supposed to be for that? Again, just speculation. I don't know for sure, but I would assume she walked to a gas station and then was getting an Uber because the boyfriend did follow her to the gas station, um, and then he turned around and headed back to the house. Um, and she okay. would Uber everywhere, and it wasn't close enough for her to walk. Right. So, and the or whoever she was meeting picked her up or right. her or something. Did did you guys try to get a hold of uh, Uber to see if maybe they if they could confirm there were any rides to that to that Best Western from the the gas station? Yeah, so I tried reaching out um and they're not very without like a subpoena or a search warrant, they're not giving anything up. Um so I did, you know, I let detective know uh whether he did or not again i'm in the dark no idea right so did she have a phone with her when she went missing yes she did Do you know uh, if... so the boyfriend had called the hotel room i think all three days that she was there or supposed to be there um she had or he had kept calling because he was calling her cell phone and she wasn't answering. Um, so then he called the room and she wasn't, no one was picking up. Um, and then her phone died. Uh, what was it? Jan January 2nd or the 4th? Something, somewhere right around there. It died and, and hasn't been turned on since. No, they must have been able to ping roughly where that was. Was it still at the Best Western? I don't know if they were that or not. Never told me. And so because I was able to get into her um, iCloud and her, her Apple, all of the, whatever that service stuff is, um, I even checked like with her Google Maps and because you can look up like location history. She had it all turned off, all of her GPS. So uh -huh. even being able to see, if I think it was up like a couple months prior she had turned it all off but she was losing her phones and she'd get a new one so i don't know if it was just she forgot to go and turn it on or if she purposely turned it off i i don't know hmm. 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's I don't know how it works for cloud stuff, but like images, I in, with GPS maybe turned off. I don't know, it might be kind of hard, but usually they'll have like that geo tagging, uh, like the geolocation sort of thing for the image itself. Like sometimes that will be like embedded in the data of the photo. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how all of that works. If if that's something that when she disabled that, if it would shut that off too, or if it would even transfer to the cloud uh, with the those files. But it really feels like like it's been this long. There should be something that the, the investigators should have done. You should have some more answers than this. I mean, it's literally like she just dropped off the face of the earth and there's been nothing i mean bank accounts i'm in and there has been nothing um yeah i i'm at a loss i don't know wh what to do anymore where to look who to you know it's where do i point them either mm -hmm. what what has pd told you it sounds like <laughs> they've been very evasive about a lot of stuff yeah they haven't really told me much everything and hopefully it's just because they they're not saying much or it's but it's hopefully it's that instead of they haven't done anything so they don't have an answer yes that's what i'm hoping is that they're just they're still working some angles and they just don't want to put it out there is what i'm hoping so you should request like all the files they do have on her because if it's a missing person case it's not a criminal case so they should be able to share that information with you right or have they declared her like a endangered missing or or something to that effect i don't believe she's endangered missing yet i think she's still just missing is the classification yeah so if, no. if i were you I would, I would try to push to get as much information as you can from them if it's just a missing person case it's not a criminal case and then they, yeah. if they say, well, there's potential of being a criminal case, or they like then say, then up it, make it more more severe than if you're not going to share information with me. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get something from them. Hopefully. What are you going to say, Jeff? Sorry. Well, and I feel like I've been saying this a lot over the last couple of cases. Um, is, well, is, People going missing a thing that happens in that area often or more often than you'd think there was um a girl very similar situation um and she had been missing you know police were working her case and i think it was really sad situation too and, um the cook county morgue or the coroner's office had actually her for like six months to a year and just never put two that that was her so it, i mean she went missing and i think it was like two or three years before that happened oh, um, man. but it's it's chicago it's a big city there's a lot of crime um i think it's something it quite often yeah okay is uh, like the 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 only thing that I can think is like and again I've said this on the last couple of these is I'm wondering if it's like a human trafficking situation. Um, yeah, I mean that's one of the possibilities I would think. Um, you know, especially like with the amount that the area that they are. Yeah, that's it's a good possibility. Has um, have you received tips or missing one of America? Have they received any tips on uh, Lawrence's case at all? Um, not lately. There was one guy, uh, probably four months ago now, that um said he talked. He was a over the road truck driver. Um, and swore up and down that somebody had seen her in Indianapolis. So I did go down for a weekend because I was living in Indiana. Um. So I drove down, met up with a couple of people that I knew down there, and we walked around, handed out flyers, and I even talked to, it was um, like a manager at a Knights Inn in Indianapolis, and he swore up and down to my face that that girl was here, um, but she, and said that she was with some guy, a white guy, um, but 
they didn't use, you know, credit cards or anything. They used cash, but they were like hotel or motel hopping every couple days. Um, and then nothing ever came from that. Yeah, so missing women from America said we've had a couple that wound up being different girls. At least people are, are you know, trying. Like that's that's something encouraging at least that people are actually out there trying trying to help and Yeah. Do you um have you thought of using like video of her? Do you have any videos of her talking and her, her mannerisms? Because I know that helps a lot too to for someone to see a video of someone versus just a still picture. That might be something you want to try to do to get out there too. Yeah, I don't know that we did try putting a video out there. I'd have to look. Um, I mean, God, it'd be probably going back years through a million Facebook videos trying to find something because I don't think there were any good ones that I, you know, would want to share that would actually show anything um, in like her iCloud. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah, no, more pictures of her up here. Yeah, she looks just like she's a sweet girl. You can tell, kind-hearted, great smile, sassy apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, that's I. I can only imagine how frustrating this is being in in your situation with, you know, just yeah, like you said, just sort of like she dropped off the the face of the planet and not getting any answers about from the from the police any anything yeah it really is um you know it'd just be nice if they could give me something like or at least just say yes we are still working on it which I right don't that all i just get is no there's been no updates no new leads and like that's it and there's been absolutely no activity on any social media account of hers, correct? Nope, nothing. Awful. What do you want people to know about your sister? Or if they, if they do see her, is there a message you'd like to get out to her? Yeah, I mean, the message that we'd want is just reach out. Doesn't have to be to, you know, me or mom, dad, brother, anyone. Just reach out to someone and let us know that you're there. Uh, you don't want to come back. That's fine. Just let us know so we can put it all to rest. Um, and just for people out there, just keep sending in tips, calling in, letting us know, you know, possible sightings. And we'll do what we can to get out there and take a look for ourselves yeah absolutely uh justice for robin warson jewer said uh michelle if you need help putting a video together of all the time in the world would love to help you that's awesome yeah thank you Thanks. um do you guys have a uh a facebook page or anything set up for her um Yes, Missing Women of America, Susan, she got one together. Okay. Yeah. And so are you guys just going through the Missing Women of America, or does she has a, she has a separate uh, website or a separate Facebook? Yep. It's, okay. It's, I'm in one of the groups here uh, that helped find Lauren Ashley Wilhoit. Wilhoit, yes, that one. Okay. Yeah, so help do that. Uh, that's the name of it. Help find Lauren Wilhoy. Uh, that's the Facebook page. Um, if anyone has any information or any questions or, or anything, um, you know, go there and, oh, there we go. I'll go back. To uh, Melissa here says, my sister has been missing for five years. I know the feeling all too well. That is awful. I'm really sorry to hear that, Melissa. 
Yeah, me too. Sorry, Melissa. Melissa, reach out to us after if you want, and we can try to cover your sister's case as well. Uh, I think that's supposed to be Amber. <laughs> Thank you for what you're doing. Absolutely. Um, now, this is the handled by the Cook County Sheriff's Department, like you were saying. Um, if anyone does have anything to you know, that you don't want to send through Facebook, whatever, if you have any information at all, um, you can reach out to them and uh, let them know what you know. The, I mean, it's just baffling that there isn't more, that they're, again, like I said, hopefully they're just holding back or they're not giving you anything. Maybe they're working stuff. They can't say much, but something even just to say yes like we're still working on it or like there's got to be something like they they know the name of the person who had the room supposedly like they they definitely can can track where someone was pinged last or where the phone might have been like they there's stuff that they have to know or they should be able to know um and if they're not getting those answers and it's to me it seems like just negligence Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Emma said, "Found you covering the Emily Heber, Emily Heber case." My tongue's all tied up. Yeah, that's that's a strange case too. Um, Let's see. Does anyone else have any other questions before we take off here? Did uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to say, Michelle? No, not really. Just want to find her. I want answers. I want the nightmare to be over. You know. I was I was just gonna ask you because I'm all into the psychics and paranormal type stuff. Have you had any dreams about your sister? No, I haven't. Um, but we did reach out to a couple different, like, psychics, medium, things like that. Um, nothing ever really came of any of it. I was just curious. Uh, I've, I've asked that a few Amy times Piper, now. Oh, Amy Piper Jackson says, praying for your sister every day, battle buddy. Hi, Amy. Thank you. All right. Um, if there are any questions from, from anyone watching, uh, we'll probably be getting done here pretty soon. So if you have anything you, know, you want to say or any questions you want to ask, um, that would be the time. We probably should do hashtags. We're, yeah. we're kind of boomers when it comes to stuff like this sometimes. <laughs> I'll, when, I, when I upload videos, I'll... I'll add a few hashtags. So it's usually like missing Maine, that type of stuff, or wherever the person's from, because uh, we're out of Maine. But it's a good idea. Thank you, Amber. And then she says, "Oh, sorry, oh, I just clicked over you. How about you doing? And I want to see your channel grow. So do we? Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, and Justice for Robbie Moore, since you were said, definitely got you in my prayers as well. Um. So again, uh, Cook County Sheriff's Department, if you have any information, also um, the uh, Help Find Lauren uh, Will Hoyt uh, Facebook page. Oh, just lost. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, that's the Facebook page. If you have anything, um, any, any information, please definitely reach out. Uh, and we're, we're really sorry that you're going through this. Uh, any updates that, that you guys get, let us know. We'll share that out as well. Um, yeah. The uh, awful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, so much. Our hearts are with you. Uh, please reach out if you need anything else from us, all right? All right. Thank you. All right. All right we're going to end night. this now. Thank you, everyone, for, uh, for joining us.